Friends, today is Friday, June 14, 2024. And I want to uh, read to us a passage today from uh, Matthew 5, 22 and, uh, 23 and, and 24. And this is the passage I referred to yesterday where Jesus talks about what we should do in the context of worship. When you're offering your gift, that's a, that is one of these offerings that's described in Leviticus 1 to 7 that was offered at the tent of meeting and later on in the temple. Uh, and you're offering it at the altar. If you remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift before the altar and go. Be reconciled to your brother or sister. Then come and offer your gift. And this is a reminder of this social dimension, the fact that we uh, have to be aware of the impact of our actions on others and the fact that unless we stop the avalanche by reconciling with someone, the negative thing we do to someone can impact them and then they impact someone else and it goes on. It becomes an ongoing wound. Um, reconciliation is a key part of honesty with God. It means honesty with others is a part of our honesty with God. Um, and I, you know, I want to ask us, do you have any reconciliation work to do in your life? Do you have any, anyone whom you need to, to talk to about a brokenness that has happened uh, between you? Um, it's, it's a powerful thing to be able to um, think honestly about the uh, way in which the darkness of our lives impacts us and to have, a, have confessional practices that allow us to reflect on those things, that opens up our eyes to those things. And um, we already talked this week about the way in which debt raises the question for us, what do we owe others? And trespasses raise, raise the question, where have we been out of bounds? Uh, missing the mark raises us the question of where, you know, where have we not hit the bullseye? Where have we under uh, missed opportunities to do good things? There are also other images that are powerful in the Bible, like the image of a stain. Uh, where are we marked by habits or activities or vices that that continue to, to leave a stain in our lives? Where uh, are we hypocritical, like the cup that Jesus famously talks about that's beautiful on the outside, dirty in the inside? Are there things that we're hiding from others that we need to uh, be more open and vulnerable about because they're realities of what's going on inside of us? Um, are Is there things that have gone dead in us? Like the, Jesus says you know, to the Pharisees, sometimes you remind me of, whitewashed tombs, you know, you look okay on the outside, but on the inside there's there's some death there. There's some disintegration, there's some dust. And so uh, you know, the things that have gone dead, relationships we've just let go, parts of our heart that have gone cold, these are all questions we can ask in our devotional practices that will awaken us to things that are broken in us and in our relationships. Let's take a moment to pray. Gracious God, give me the courage to seek forgiveness and reconciliation when, re when uh, relationships are broken and to do the self-examination that reveals those relationships and reveals the way my life has gone wrong. Uh, we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.